everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. <laughs> What is it with Wish, guys? Seriously? <laughs> the first Wish video that I posted has over 700,000 views. The second video I posted has over 800,000 views. Hopefully this one will get a million views, that'd be great. I suppose Wish videos are popular because either people are looking to buy stuff themselves and they want to see how the products turned out, or they're just in for a laugh, they just want to see how terrible the products are and how they're definitely not what the person expected they were going to get. Let's see how this video works out. If you don't really know what Wish is, basically an easy sort of rundown of it is it's kind of like eBay, but it's based in China. So when you scroll through, you'll probably see a whole bunch of the same product listed at different prices and stuff like that. And it's mostly because there's different factories selling similar products and a lot of the time they just steal an image off an actual official retailer and then they make a fake copy of the product but they use the original retailer's image and a whole bunch of different wholesalers on Wish will sell exactly the same thing at different prices. That's part of the reason that the pu part of the reason that the items all come in different parcels because the sellers are located in all different places. However, there are sellers sorry, I'm sorry There are sellers that have stores on Wish and you can click on their store and you can see all of the items that they sell. So, for today's video, I actually got an email from a Wish seller, which was crazy to me because I always just thought that they were like the faceless men in Game of Thrones, like never to be seen. There's actually real people behind these stores and they emailed me and they were like, Hello dear, we like your video, we want cooperation, please pick items. So I clicked on... Uh, Archie, can you stop it? If you can't behave, I'm going to send you away. I will send you away. So they sent me a link to their store and they said, please pick some items. And I looked at their store and I wasn't particularly impressed. Like, none of the stuff was very interesting to me, except the shoes. And then I had a great idea and I thought, you know what? How about I do a shoe haul from this place? The good thing about this video, despite the fact that they sent me all of this stuff free, I have no obligation whatsoever to be nice about it. Never in my email did I say that I would uh, give them a good review. I just said, yeah, you can, you can send me these shoes, that's fine. And if they're crap, I'm gonna say so. <laughs> I do often wonder if companies specifically only send good products to YouTubers and then they hold off on the crappy products. But this Wish seller, they sent everything that I asked for, or at least I think so, I haven't opened the parcels yet. But they didn't seem to complain about any of the items that I chose. So what I did, I looked through their store and I decided I was only gonna get shoes because shoes were the only thing in the store that interested me. So I picked like 10 shoes and I sent them a list and they came back and they said, sorry dear, we can't send you so many shoes shoes, please pick other items. And I was like, well, you want me to do a video for you? You're going to send me the products that I want. I don't want your she we. You know, I drive a hard deal around here on Pretty Pastel, please. They said, okay, fine, we'll, we'll send you the shoes. As long as you sign this contract. So they basically like made me sign an agreement to say that I would actually make the video. I guess maybe sometimes they send products to people and people don't actually make the video or something, I'm not sure. So anyway, they made me like sign that I was actually going to make this video for them. So here you are, wish seller, I'm making the video. What am I gonna say? I think I've done enough talking. The only other thing that I have to say, this is Archie, he is my feathered son. He makes noises, he sits on the window and he screams. And if you don't like birds screaming, then I highly recommend that you leave now because he's going to stay. Anyone that complains about him can leave. So without further ado, let's get into it. Uh. <laughs> okay, so the thing about Wish is because it's normally different sellers, you get everything in individual parcels. Like if you buy 20 items, you'll get 20 parcels. But because this all came from the one seller, all the shoes have fitted into four parcels. So that was nice. And they all arrived at basically exactly the same time. I think one of them came a day later than the others. So that's pretty good. That's part of the benefit of buying from the one seller. Let's, Archie, no. No, no eat, no. All right, well, Archie's already started to open this one for me, so uh, let's get into it. Come on, bub. Oh, it smells so bad. Nah, Archie can't be here. There might be like spray on here, I don't even know. Pesticides, I don't know what they put in these things, but it stinks. So you have to go, friend. I don't want you near this, no. Oh my goodness, it actually smells like vomit. Alrighty, the first pair, I'm actually quite excited about these because when I saw them, Archie, hey, you just can't win with this bird. 
No, you can't win with this bird. Here, just sit here. So the thing about these shoes, when I saw them with the rainbow stripe on the side, they really reminded me of some shoes that I've seen from, I think it's YRU, and I got very excited about that. So they're like slides or sandals. So here they are. They're held together with a bit of elastic tie. They're very light because they're made of foam. They're kind of like uh, pool shoes or beach shoes. They're like very, very light. Here they are. They've got a brand of some sort on them. Now I'm a size 40. I couldn't get all of these things in a size 40, but oh, look at my hair. Archie, what have you done? I couldn't get all of these shoes in a size 40, but there were some designs that I thought you guys would really like, so I got them in a smaller size. So I may not be able to wear some of these shoes, but at least I'll be able to show you so you can see the quality. They honestly just seem like just normal shoes. Like if I went into Target or Kmart or like just a regular, maybe Walmart. I mean, I'm, I'm from Australia, so Archie, stop. Just, no, you stop. I'm from Australia, so I mean, I don't know exactly what Walmart is like, but I'm assuming that Walmart is kind of like Target. I've Bought shoes just like this from Target, so that's what these feel like. Let's give them a go. Well, unfortunately, I don't have an outfit that I can show you guys with these shoes because I had a terrible, terrible nip slip when I filmed it the first time and I didn't actually notice, so I've had to edit that bit out. But what I do have for you is a little bit of a before and after, a little bit of a glow up, might I say. So if you want to see how Sam took these shoes from what you see here to what you see here. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. They are indeed fluffy unicorn slides with diamantes around the edges. If you want to see how Sam, my good friend Sam, if you want to see how he took drab to fab, then uh, hit the link in my description box and uh, you'll be taken to Sam's channel. It's going to be his very, very first video. He's never posted before. I'm so excited to share my best friend with you guys. I think you're going to love him. He's a little bit of a master craftsman. Like you can just give him any project and say, Sam, make me this and he'll do it. So I have this little video series planned that I'm going to film where I basically keep giving Sam things and I keep saying to him, Sam, make me this, make me this and he'll make them for me. So episode one is these Wish Unicorn Slides. So don't forget to uh, check out his channel to see how he made these. And might I say, I think they're amazing. But in terms of the original shoes, look, they, they were just squishy, everyday, average rainbow slides. I can't really say anything else. They were comfortable, they were very light, they were well-made-ish. The original ones were $14, and you know what? I think they're kind of worth it. I mean, maybe they're just worth 10, but if you've never seen anything like that before and you don't know where else you could possibly buy platform rainbow slides, I would actually say, yeah, go for it. Get them from Wish, they're kind of worth it. And maybe buy them if you want to do a bit of a DIY project with them. What have we got next? This feels like Christmas. Okay, this is... Oh, boots. This is exciting. They smell so bad. What the hell? Oh my god, these are the worst smelling thing ever. It's like a dog must have pooed inside them. Very tall boots. Very, very, very tall boots. They feel extremely cheap, but hey, they're from Wish, so what do you expect? These buckle things don't look like they're the best quality, and I really don't think that they'll survive very long. This is just plastic, you know, it's not leather, it wasn't going to be leather. You know, in Australia we have a shoe shop called Ruby. This is basically exactly what you'd buy from Ruby, like the quality is no different. It's exactly the same. with this dress from Doll's Kill because it's the closest thing that I have to something kind of like punk-ish. I don't know what's more painful. The thought that there's people out there that may just spend their hard-earned money on these boots or just how much pain my feet are in. I don't know what's more painful, but I'll tell you what, these boots bring nothing but misery. <laughs> For a start, they don't look anything like they did on the website. On the website, they looked like they had a lot more laces than what they really have. In actuality, the laces are kind of spaced out pretty far. They're extremely, extremely cheap. Like, 
the cheapest material you can imagine and they are so incredibly uncomfortable. They just feel like they've got razor blades on the inside. If you've ever watched the horror movie Saw, this totally feels like a saw trap. I love the blue game. Put your feet in these shoes, <laughs> you'll die. These boots are listed as $23 on the website. That is an absolute joke. They're worth $3 at most. And I ordered these in a size 41. I usually wear a size 40, but I decided to size up. And they're still too small. So the sizing is whack, the style is whack. The fit is whack. The material is whack. Everything about these shoes is archy. Everything about these shoes is completely whack. I do not recommend. Just avoid at all costs. Ah, these are really cute. I, I got very excited when I saw these. I really hope these fit me because they're beautiful. Look. They're little pearl embellished shoes. Ah! But they do look very, very sweet. They've got these little flowers on them. They're kind of like a plasticky, shiny material. And then they've got little pearls all over them and you put your foot through here and... I can't speak much for the quality, but they're very cute. I don't know how they'll fit me. All right, well, I've just paired these shoes with the dress from my Shein video. I think they actually look quite nice together. The shoes are really, really cute. Like looking at them from a distance, they are really, really precious. They're so adorable. The quality is pretty bad, like pretty bad. The pearls are falling off already. I've already lost three in the amount of time that it took me to put them on my feet. And the little buckle that is made of a string of pearls, it's just held together with a really, really, really tiny, thin piece of elastic band. And that's just going, Hello. And that's just going to fall off any second now. These are not shoes that you could wear anywhere. And the sizing is also off. I ordered them in my size, but they're way too tight. So you'd have to size up in them. And on the website, they're $26 and they're most certainly not worth $26. But you know, if you really, really wanted a pair of shoes with little pearl embellishments all over them and you couldn't find them anywhere else, you could always get them, but don't set your standards too high. Archie. He's undressing me. Look, do you want to go see the shoes? Do you want to go see the shoes, Archie? Come have a look. Look, what do you think? Do you like them? Whoa, Nachi does not approve. I'm just in two minds about these. I feel like $26, they're not worth it, but the style is very beautiful, but they would fall apart very easily. Listen to my pearls of wisdom and don't buy these shoes. Okay, next up. These ones are in a bag. So they came in like a little shoe bag, so that's, that's cute. Okay, these feel rubbish. <laughs> these feel like a some kid's project, like an art project in school. They're so bad. So bad. I mean, they, they look all right. Like on camera, you probably can't tell how rubbish they are, but they're, they're literally like, I think if you went into a dollar store, you'd be able to buy these. Well, hey, funny that, because Wish is basically just one giant ah, online... Ah, ah. One giant online dollar store, that's that's what Wish is, so... <laughs> On camera, you can't really tell how bad they are, I don't think. They probably just look like shoes to you. But they're very light, they feel like they're probably going to fall apart, but we'll test them out. So I've put these shoes with this purple dress. This is just from Kukai, it's an Australian shop. I couldn't really think of any other outfit that I would wear these sparkly shoes with. So I was like, oh, well, I'll just go full glam and get like an off the shoulder, slit up the thigh kind of dress. They're very, very light. They only feel like they're worth about $5 at most. Like if I picked these up in a shop, I would buy them if they were $5 down from 10, but I most certainly wouldn't buy them for, I think they're 20. These are $26 on Wish. I feel like that must be some sort of joke, honestly. They cannot be worth $26. I don't know what drugs these people are smoking to list these shoes at $26, but they're not worth it. Maybe they thought if they chucked a bunch of glitter on it, they'd make them look a bit more expensive than what they really are. They look really cool. Like, they look cool from a distance. I'll, I'll give them that much. From where you guys are standing, you probably wouldn't be able to tell just how crappy they are, but picking them up and feeling them, yes, they are on the verge of falling apart. They're a little bit like me. They're sparkly and glamorous on the outside, but they're on the verge of falling to pieces. Next parcel. 
Let's let's see if it stinks again. Okay, no smell this time. So it was just those boots. Okay, these are also in a bag. Oh, I'm, I'm really excited about these. I'm so excited because I've actually been looking for a pair of shoes like this for a very long time. I tried to buy some when I was in Harajuku, but they weren't in my size. And on the website, these appear to be my size. So with any luck, if they are my size, I'll be a very happy lady. Where are the shoelaces? They're kind of like these crazy Japanese, Korean style space shoes. They're really cool, but there's there's no laces. I'm a bit... I don't, I don't understand. Oh, hang on. I think I found the laces. Ah, uh, yes. Is it for both of them? Yes. Okay. If you watched my Zarful video, you'll know that I'm such a fan of tying things up. Such a fan. Quality-wise, again, I mean, they're very cheap. But hey, this isn't Adidas. This is Wish. So what do you expect? I kind of like this. Look, it's like a silver sort of reflective metallic-y thing on the inside. I think the, the design, it's its crazy, like it's wild. I've never worn shoes like this before, but I think it's really cool, like it's really unique. And this material, it's like fake suede. And I'm actually very surprised by how nicely these are made. Oh, actually, hmm, I take that back. Look, I don't know if my camera will be able to show you this. This is just glued on and I can actually see the glue, like, oh. I can actually see the glue all there. Do you see it? Do you see all the glue? Archie, did not get you're a bird, not a hat. Go away. I'm really, really, really excited by these. I mean, yes, it looks like it's just glued on and it might just fall apart within a couple of days, but they weren't too expensive, so... Okay, well, I'm back at it again with this outfit. I think these shoes look super cool with this outfit because this outfit is kind of like a sporty, almost like a tennis player, and these shoes are kind of like sneakers, and... I actually really, really dig them. They're $24 on the website, and I don't know if it's worth it. No, she doesn't think it's worth it. I don't know if it's worth it for the quality, but for the style and the design, yes, I definitely think they're worth it. They're really, really cool. I've never seen shoes like this in my life. I don't know where I would ever find shoes like this. I really like the design on the side. I think it's super cool. The height is actually not too bad. It doesn't feel like I'm going to fall and break my neck. And I actually really, really dig the kawaii space boot design. If you sent a Harajuku girl to the moon, these are the shoes that she would wear. NASA is quaking. Definitely think these are worth it. I think they're super cool. They came in other colors too, so you don't necessarily have to get the pink, but of course I was gonna choose the pink. But they look really cool in black as well. I think they had yellow embellishments on them. I don't know if they'll fall apart within the first week of me wearing them. But hey, you know what? That's actually not a bad idea for a video. I'll make a video called I wore wish shoes for a month. And you can pick, let's say you can pick four shoes and I have to wear each pair for one week in total, but I have to wear nothing but wish shoes for a month. It'll take me a month to make the video, but I think that's actually a really good idea because then I can test them and see if they actually last. Yeah, tell me below which four shoes you want me to wear and I will wear nothing but wish shoes for a month. Hi! Oi! <laughs> oh, okay, yep. Now these, these were pretty cool. These, actually, they asked me to review these. These, I didn't pick these myself. They sent them to me in the email. They were like, we want you to review these shoes. So they came in a couple of different colors, but I picked the white. They're pretty cool. Like, but they're not gonna fit me. It says, I have uh, no idea, it says something on the side. It's got this 3D embroidered flower on it, which is really sick. I've never seen anything like that. Yeah, I don't think my foot's gonna fit into these, but I got the biggest size I could possibly get. They feel very light. They, I think they might be like 3D printed, to be honest. But that's kind of what it feels like. I, actually, I'm certain these are 3D printed. Now, I don't know if my feet will fit into those, but I can try and squeeze into them, maybe. Oh, my hair is so messy, it's so bad. Before I even come out, I'm just going to say, these shoes make me feel a bit like a horse. 
They're very cool. I must admit, I think these are awesome. They're definitely, definitely not my size. They're way too small for me. But funnily enough, they're quite stretchy, so they actually fit. They're kind of like Hermione Granger's bag, how it can just fit absolutely anything. They fit my feet and I'm shocked because they look so small. I didn't think that my feet could physically squeeze into these, but they do. I'm actually really, really happy with these. These are some of my favorite shoes from the whole video. Like I said, I don't think they're very good quality. I think they're 3D printed. They're just really, really light. They just feel like, I don't even know. Like it's not, it's not rubber. It's just like plasticky material. Oh, and I figured out what it says on the bottom. It says Liangbu. Liangbu. And I have a, a slight suspicion that it's supposed to look like Moschino. Mos Moschino. Like my Moschino. Like Moschino. The rose is really nice. It's actually stuck on there pretty well. I don't think it's going to fall off. I think the design of these is really, really cool. And I think the other color options are really nice too, particularly the red ones. The red ones were so cool. These ones get a flying pass from me. I think they're awesome. These ones are 25 Australian dollars. Now I can't really say that I think they're worth it in terms of the quality. But in terms of the style, I definitely think they're worth it. I've never seen any shoes like this before. So I think forking out $25 for these, they don't feel like they're gonna fall apart that easily. They actually feel pretty sturdy. They're very, very light. I'm just the tiniest bit concerned about falling and breaking my neck, but you know, aside from that, let me know what you think below. Do you think they're a little bit too wild, too crazy? But yeah, 25 Australian dollars, it's a tiny bit pricey, but I've never seen anything like this before. And I don't know where I would ever find any shoes like this for less than $25. So yeah, go for it. These are really cool. No, no, this isn't your haul, this is my haul. These are very heavy shoes. Very heavy, what the heck? I can't believe how heavy these are. These are meant to be little like ballerina, I don't know, what do you call these? Mary Jane, but they are so heavy. What the heck, it's like there's, maybe there is lead in them. They honestly feel like lead shoes. Uh, the quality, it's okay. Just feels like Target shoes to be honest, but yeah, I can't believe how heavy they are. I wonder if I'll be able to demonstrate. These are gorgeous. The clip is really, really weird. It does up in a really strange way, but they're extremely well made. They're very, very solid. Well, you know what? I'm kind of in two minds, actually. I don't know if they're well made. I can't quite tell. Like they kind of feel well made, but at the same time, the fabric feels a bit cheap, but they are so, so comfortable. The fabric is really, really soft. So it kind of feels like you're just wearing socks with a very heavy platform on them. I think the height is really sweet. They're a really, really cute design. I feel like I'm going to wear these a lot and they don't feel like they'd fall apart that easily. Like they, they don't feel like they're made that well, but these are listed as $18 and 100%, even if these were $30, I'd still buy them. I've seen shoes like this in expensive shoe shops for like 50 and $60. So I definitely think these ones are worth it. These are some of my favorites. I'm absolutely in love. And I think this outfit is really, really cute too. As you can see, the skirt is doing that thing that I talked about in my video. Yes, I will cut the shorts out of them eventually. <laughs> but anyway, I love this. I love this outfit. I love these shoes. I feel like if you buy one pair of shoes from this video, you should buy these because these are actually really, really nice. Like, don't set your expectations really high and then you can't be disappointed. I just feel like they're good quality. They're not great quality. They are only $18 though. So you can't really go wrong. I love them. <laughs> Up, oh, thigh high boots. All right, I love thigh high boots. Absolutely love them. But they can be very expensive. I remember the very first pair of thigh high boots that I ever bought. I think I paid $100 or $150. These, they aren't very expensive. Out of everything that I've pulled out of these parcels, these are the best. They're a suede material. They feel really sturdy. I'm not sure, again, in terms of quality. I feel like this sort of stuff Maybe after you've worn it for a week or two, this will peel away at the bottom, I don't know. But from my initial impressions, actually very nice. I can't believe how nice these are. These boots are made for walking. That's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna fall apart because they're from Wish. So these boots are 23 Australian dollars on the website. Do I think it's worth it? Surprisingly, yes, I actually do. These are the only shoes so far that I think have actually been worth it. 
They're really cool. They're very, very comfortable. They're quite soft on the inside too. They don't feel like they're going to fall apart. They feel like they're actually made quite nicely. Stop it. No. I really, really, really like the height of the heel. I think the height of the heel is really, really comfortable. It's really good. I've owned thigh high boots before, but the heel was just too big and they were really, really painful. So these just give you enough height to be stylish, but also they're not too tall that they're uncomfortable. Can you just behave for once in your life? They're in a different colored package. I don't remember what they are. So they're, they're pink. They have, what, do you, what is this? Some sort of, right, so they came with something for the back of the shoe, perhaps if you get blisters from them. They're just flat shoes like this. They remind me a lot of the shoes that I've bought from Romwe before, just very cheap Chinese shoes. Uh, they have this little buckle with like a gold thing on them. And they have this funny strap that the first time I ever saw, I was so bamboozled because I've never encountered a shoe strap like this before. But it's like, it's a hook. So you, I, I mean, I think you're just, I think you just do that, like, I think you do it like that. I think you just hook it, but I'm not entirely sure. I mean, what's the point? Why, why put a buckle if it's going to be a fake buckle? I don't understand. But they look really cute. These were actually, I'm almost the most excited about these. I think it's a tie between these and those cool sneakers, but we'll see how they last. I actually really, really like the look of these. I think they're very, very pretty. I think the style is really nice, and I really like the gold band that goes around the ankle. I think it's really stylish. They fit me very, very well. The sizing is really, really surprisingly accurate. I didn't think that the sizing would be this good. They're very comfortable too, and they seem to be made quite nicely as well, so I don't really have anything that I can complain about here. I suppose the only thing I could really complain about is possibly the price. These shoes are $21. And you know what, maybe if they were 18, I would say that it's worth it. But I kind of feel like 21 is just the tiniest bit too expensive. Although it's really a matter of opinion. I mean, if you're used to paying that sort of money for shoes like this, then I don't think you'd be disappointed because they're made very well. These are some of the nicest shoes in this whole haul. I think they're lovely. I've paired them with this dress from my Pretty Little Thing video. I've never worn this dress, but I just couldn't bring myself to return it. So I think these actually look really, really nice with the dress. I think that the color matches them perfectly. So yeah, you know what? These ones get a pass from me. This is another pair that they wanted me to review specifically. I don't know, maybe they maybe they have excess stock of these and they want to get rid of them or something, but they asked me to review these. I didn't choose these. I would never wear these, but they're like, Gladiator shoes with a heel kind of thing. Like, they're very ugly as far as I'm concerned. But hey, I mean, if the condition of getting all the other shoes for free was that I had to review these, then so be it. Quality-wise, they, again, they just kind of seem like Target quality. Just like normal, cheap shoes, to be honest. Maybe you might like shoes like this. I'll, I'll try them on and we'll see how they look, but they're not, ah! They're just like normal, normal Target quality. Sorry about the light. It's getting very dark out. So luckily these are the last shoes. I've just paired these with the black top from Dolls Kill and the black skirt from my Shein haul because I don't really know what to wear black shoes like this with. I have no idea because I would personally never ever ever wear them. Like I, I don't like them at all. No offense to anyone that wears shoes like this if you like these sort of shoes. I actually hate to say it but I do recommend them. They're actually made quite well, like surprisingly well. I think that in a shop these will probably pass off for 40 or $50 because the quality is actually pretty good. I can see why the seller wanted me to review these ones. They were probably like, ah, oh, yeah, well, you know, she can hate all the others, but if we sent her these, she won't be able to say anything bad about them. They're, they're fine. Like, they're comfortable. They don't feel like they would give me blisters. That being said, I've said that in the past many times and ended up with shocking, shocking blisters. So, you know, I think I would have to wear them for an extended period of time to know for sure. But at the moment, they feel quite comfortable. They're $25. I don't know if it's worth it or not. I, like I said, I feel like in a shop you would pay 40 or 50. So maybe they are worth it. Yes, they pass the test. They're quite good quality. They're some of the best quality out of all the shoes in this video. I don't like the style at all. I'm never gonna wear them. I think I'll just donate them to charity. But yeah, you know, if you like these sort of shoes, go for it. Come say bye. Come on. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. That was so much fun to make. 
I'm impressed by some of these shoes. I'm pretty peeved about some of them. But like I keep saying, it's Wish. Don't have your hopes really, really high. It's a cheap Chinese retailer. The shoes are very, very cheap. Don't spend any more than $20 on a pair of shoes from this website because you could always just go to Target. Unless you spot some shoes that are a really, really unique design that you've never seen anywhere else. And then I would, yeah, I would say go for it. They seem fine for the price. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my other Wish videos. Subscribe if you enjoyed this one and give us a thumbs up. You can find me on Instagram, Pretty Pastel Please. You can find Archie at Archie Eclectus. That's all we have for you. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah! <laughs> <laughs>